Been trying to figure out these Dr. Pulley sliders and what's the point of them. Been watching a lot of YouTube videos on them. I mean, guys have measured everything, the travel on them, everything's the same. But for some reason, people swear by the performance gains of them. We're going to test them here, back to back. Same gram sliders, same gram rollers, same bike, back to back. And I think I figured it out why. The Dr. Pulley website describes their sliders. And it says now the innovative Dr. Pulley sliding roller weights slide up and down the ramp to change the gear ratio. This unique sliding movement, not rolling, provides exclusive advantages. What's funny is the roller weights, round roller weights, awesome durability, excellent heat resistance. Now the innovative Dr. Pulley round roller weights roll up and down the ramp, change the gear ratio. This unique rolling movement provides exclusive advantages. They both say the same damn thing. I'm not really sure what these unique advantages are. I can't seem to find it. What's the unique advantage? Um, their YouTube video says that they don't wear as fast. They last longer of the roller wearing down because the ramp hits it like this and it wears over time. And I've got some old rollers that actually have worn just like they describe. They've got a flat spot in them up on top here. They seem to be working good. I replaced them because they looked all flat on top and didn't really make any difference so yeah, I don't know what the advantage is so maybe the wear is less so I'm not sure why sliding would be better than rolling and I don't know why they make a roller also and say it's got exclusive advantages all right I'm going to compare rollers and sliders back to back same bike same variator same exact weight three grams three grams three grams I'm going to put these sliders in and go see how it runs. 36, sometimes 37. With the sliders, I'm stuck at about 37 miles an hour, and I'm running 11,000 RPM. I can't even believe it. It's just not pushing the variator out. It's not reaching full travel on the variator. Because 11,000 RPM, I should be a lot faster than 37. That didn't work that well. Way too high of RPM. It didn't push the variator out. I seem to be stuck in low gear. I'm gonna go try these Dr. Pulley rollers. You see if the rollers have the same problem. It could be these three gram weights are too light to push the slider out. So we'll try the three gram rollers and see if that gives us any difference. All right, with the rollers, I'm already at 38. And 9,000 RPM, so that's much better. The RPMs are more in check. And 38 miles an hour, now I'm increasing speed as that's gearing up. It's pushing that variator out further. So the sliders were 11,000 RPM. I'm at 9,000 RPM. And the sliders were stuck at 37 miles an hour. The rollers apparently are pushing that plate out further. 8,800, can't get the RPM at 42. As a 43. I think I know now why these sliders get such good reviews, even though I didn't like them. In comparison to the rollers, they act like they're one or two gram lighter. I was 2,000 RPM difference with these. The rollers gave me 9,000 and the sliders 11,000 RPM. So I think a lot of people were kind of taught to believe heavier weights make us go faster. And I've showed several examples where lighter weights actually make you go faster because you can make that RPM and get in your power band. I think in this situation, the sliders give guys more RPM and the guys go faster until they're sold on sliders. In my case, I'm going faster with the rollers. So if I got sliders that were really equal to these rollers, I wonder how they would be. I would have to add weight to these, probably one or two grams to make them really equal to these rollers. And see which one works best. Since the sliders gave me so much RPM, I might could try a gear up mod with them. So I'm going to try the 95 millimeter Polini variator again. Well, yeah, that didn't work. I'm biting off more than I could chew with this little 49cc trying to put a 95 millimeter variator on there. That was too high geared for these things. So I'm going to try something else. NCY makes a performance variator, and it's not 95. Remember, the stock variator is 87 millimeters. NCY makes one. This one is 89 millimeters. Kind of in between the two. So it's gonna gear me up a little bit. 
and hopefully take away some of the RPMs these sliders gave me. So I'm going to try the sliders and this variator and see what I get. I'm going to test the 3 gram rollers with the 89 millimeter variator first so I can see what the difference is when we go to sliders. These 3 gram rollers will only make a 9000 RPM on the 87 millimeter variator. They should probably only make seven or 8,000 RPM on this bigger variator. So the slider should show an improvement. So we're gonna do the roller test first. Yeah, it still feels good and peppy down low. That bigger variator might've put the RPMs in check. We'll see if it uh, slows them down on the top end there. Yeah, I was hitting 11 grand with that stock variator. That's crazy. But those valve springs worked. I didn't float the valves. It felt perfectly normal at 11,000 RPM. I don't know what kind of engine longevity I'll get with that. So I've got a bike that's geared too high, like most people's bikes, I think, are. Yeah, it seems to be lugging it down with that bigger variator. Only at 8,000 RPM now. I can't believe what a difference that variator makes. So those sliders should really speed me up because I should be able to make, um, what did I say, 3,000 more RPM, so is it 8,000? That put me at 10,000 RPM with this big roller and with this big variator I should be at least hitting 45 miles an hour with the sliders. I'm excited to try it. See how good these sliders are. Using the entire 89mm variator because there was a the line was right here. No issues there. Again, not a bad setup. I just don't have the horsepower to run this 89mm variator. At this point, I'm just treating these like lighter roller weights. Call them two grams, even though they're three grams. I really don't see any other difference in them. The advantage should go to the sliders because the bike is just geared too high right now. So I should get a faster top speed with these sliders than I did with the rollers. One hundred RPM, thirty seven miles an hour. Yeah, same issue as with the ninety five millimeter variator. Well, the sliders did eat up every bit of that magic marker line, so they're definitely working. They're pushing that belt all the way to the outside. I just don't have the horsepower to run this eighty nine millimeter variator and those three gram sliders. Most people's scooters are running at too low of an RPM. These CVT transmissions are kind of like a CV carb. You don't control the slide. The vacuum does. The CVT transmission is the same way. We're not controlling the RPMs except by trying to tune it. If we had a standard gearbox, we could run those RPMs as high as we want, but we can't. Most people aren't running high enough RPMs in their CVT. Every performance piece you get that tries to make you go faster, a bigger variator, let's say, like this Polini 95 millimeter, it gears you up. That's going to lower your RPM. A longer belt is going to gear you up. That's going to lower your RPM. Most all these performance CVTs, when you get them, come with heavier rollers. The internet will have you believe that heavier rollers equals more top speed. A lot of times you can get more top speed with lighter rollers. So most people's bike have too heavy a rollers, too big a variator, too long a belt. Then they try these Dr. Pulley sliders and the bike goes way faster. They get, just like the ad says, explosive acceleration, check. Higher top end, check. Extended gear ratio range, check. So we're getting all these good benefits, but honestly, you could replace the word sliding roller weight with lighter roller weight. Just a lighter roller will give you these things if your CVT is not tuned right. So this is a good cure for a CVT not tuned right. I don't know why, but these sliders act like a two gram lighter roller for the same weight. I'm not an engineer, can't tell you why that is. But when you compare them to roller weights, you end up with higher RPM. If you watch YouTube videos on them, the guy that has a properly tuned CVT, he's going to lose top speed with these. He's going to gain acceleration. He'll be running higher RPM, and that's true, but he's going to lose top speed. Everything's a balance. Now, you could go heavier sliders. Let's say this is a 4-gram roller, so now I'm going to run a 6-gram slider. I should have the same performance with the 6-gram slider, or maybe the 5-gram. Not sure. It just seems like I'm about 2,000 RPM higher with these sliders. I get the right slider weight to get my RPMs in check. Then, what's the benefit to the slider? I think the benefit to the slider is it wears much slower. 
it's got better longevity. And that's really about it. I don't see any other benefit to it. But I think people are fooled into thinking there's some kind of performance mod because they act like a lighter roller and they give the guys higher RPM who have tried a bunch of speed mods that aren't running enough RPM. That's my theory.